All right, hey, if you ever cared about taking pictures on this little device, you know, have a history in this world, this episode is for you. You can have it. World famous photographer Chase Jarvis. It's pure cast, exactly the way I like it. You guys know that I'm obviously super passionate about this thing to the first iPhone app that shared photos of social networks, and you also know that the role of any of the content that I create is trying to get you to see, understand, and be a part of something that you couldn't get elsewhere, whether that's trying to train you to do X or Y or get you to think differently. And this is the first time you'll ever see this particular thing demonstrated in the wild. So my guest today is my friend, Josh from Adobe. Josh, come on out. Jeez. Hey, bud. How you oh, doing? Good to see you on the show. You. All right. We've been friends for 10 years. We go way back. You guys were working at Nick Software, then to Google, and now you're at Adobe. And right. what's your role there? Um, responsible for mobile photography. Mobile. Mobile. It's June. It's the middle of June here. And on July 18th, which is today for you, and it's also my birthday. Yay! Happy birthday. Thank and you I, very I much. I told you earlier, like, it was very much planned. Yes. We got together in a room, we said, what could we give Chase for his birthday? <laughs> and we came up with some really good ideas for you. You got, so, a new mobile Lightroom drops today, and so we're going to talk about three things in the new episode, the new episode. Do I film a lot of these things? <laughs> three new things, new, new features in Lightroom. Feature number one that didn't exist before is? It's the brush capability. Brushing. Yeah, so go, show me the how the brushes work and how fast and sure. they are. Yeah. We're on your iPad Pro. Right, right. We're on my iPad Pro. We got a pencil. Okay. I just go in and we can grab a nice little brush over here and I can say, oh, let's make this part brighter. And I can just go in here and using wonderful pressure sensitivity on the pencil, I go, yep. ooh, look at that. I'm making this brighter. Oh, wow. You're very good at that. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I've been trying. I've been practicing. Cool. Feature number two that's new. Feature number two is uh, we added in some the details adjustments, uh, sharpening, noise reduction. Big thing that a lot of uh, photographers have been asking for. Yes. Part of the benefit is that now that you've got this end-to-end -end workflow available on your iPhone or iPad yep. or Android device, yep. you want to be able to go from beginning to end without having to bounce around other things. Like you said, you don't yes. want 45 different things cobbled together. Right. You can just basically do it all here, and, and since now you can capture in RAW on your phone or on your tablet, you can import RAWs on your phone or your tablet, you need to be able to do that stuff that might be, you know, conceptually at the end of your workflow, like sharpening yep. it, getting it ready. Now you don't have to like put it here, wait to go back to your desktop. Got it. To and it's all it under the Details tab, which is a complete right. new tab. New all right, tab. and the third thing is new interface. Right, so that's for the uh, iPad, right? So we've it's spent... gorgeous. Thank it you. It really is. It's And this is, for me, like, the concept of mobile on devices and like this, anything that was different than just take a picture, add a cool effect, and mm -hmm. share it was tedious for some time. Right. And now one of the things that I like about this is that it's actually getting effing good. Right. Well, there's this difference. I mean, in the, in the past, we had one interface that was basically kind of trying to be the, the right interface for both an iPhone and an iPad. Yep. So we said, well, the iPhone has some pretty unique things to it. Like one of those things is I use it with one hand. <laughs> And the old interface made it really difficult, really tedious. So true. So we wanted to make it great for the, uh, the phone. And it's, it is elegant. And you guys, it got really good here fast, mm -hmm. and this lagged, and now yep. the... Now the, we just, this yeah. is the big update, is making it so that we've got a, an experience designed specifically for the tablet. All so right. now you have that great tablet experience. So those are three features in the new thing. But I want to talk, and this is hopefully why you pay attention. There's lots of places you're going to get like really detailed tutorials on it at Creative Live and all the other places out on the internet you find it. I'm here to tell you where this is all going. I, again, made the first iPhone app to share photos of social networks in 2009, app of the year, and people didn't believe me that it was going to be a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. We're it's pretty thing. sure now it's a thing. Yeah, it but just took a number of years to realize yeah, that it was a thing. That's right. So, but what I want you to know at home is that the trend is, and confirm this for me, is that what you can do on here, what you can do on here, and what you can do on your desktop, those feature sets are starting to come together so there's almost parity in features. Mm -hmm. And the use experience here, the use experience here, the user experience on a desktop, they're all going to have their own nuances. But ultimately, in, a pr in the world that I want, you should be able to make an adjustment here. It, if you open it on your, your iPad tomorrow, it sees what you've done in the cloud, and it's universally across all of your applications. Mm -hmm. The experience might be a little bit different, but the tools are the same. Now, Verify that I'm either right or smoking crack, and tell us another little detail about where you think this is all going. Uh, well, 
I think that you're right. Okay. Uh, although that is not mutually exclusive from smoking crack, yeah. FYI. <laughs> so uh, you could be right you, and smoke crack. You, you could knew? both <laughs> are possible. I've, I haven't personally witnessed it, but okay. I think it's possible. Okay. Uh, but yes, it's totally possible that yeah. you uh, we will get to that point, and that's yeah. definitely a goal is yeah. to be able to say, you know what? Why is it that just because I left my house, I can't do something? Yeah. And I don't want to think that way. I want to be like. If the muses talk to you, yeah. as they talk to me, that may be the crack in me that's talking, <laughs> but if the muses are talking to you and you just happen to be away from your computer, why yeah. do you want to like, have to let that thought go away? Like right. You want to be able to strike while the iron is hot, as they say. And to me, the, the, the concept of an ecosystem, that's what we have at Creative Live with their app, the desktop, and the Apple TV. Mm. You pick up where you left off, all that stuff. That's just, it, that's what you expect now. Mm -hmm. And it's weird when I look out in the world and I don't see that being done well. I think right. you guys are doing a great job. Thank so you. pat yourself on the back, or I'll pat you on the back. One of the things you guys should know is this is why I abandoned being a sponsored photographer, because they all want to push you into one particular tool. And you guys know about my background with Nikon, and then Canon started making great video cameras, and Nikon didn't like that I was using them, of course. And this, world that we're talking about here in this on this video and the way I want you to think about these recommendations and featuring products is these are things that I care about there no, there's no this is you're a friend of mine we get early access so do I love Lightroom yes it's the default photo editing app of choice for most of the professionals and a lot of the aspiring folks that I know I just happen to be passionate about what this device allows you to do and the future of syncing with with all these mm -hmm. different uh, this little platform. So we talked about who it's for, we talked about why we should care, we talked about where it's going, anything else that we should know? What else are you doing for my birthday? Oh, for your birthday, let's see here. Well, <laughs> uh, we're gonna go out for We're gonna here. go out, we're gonna, um, <laughs> actually on, on July 18th, uh -huh. I think I'm gonna be in Cuba. No, that's today. Oh, that, I'm in Cuba <laughs> right now. Here I am in Cuba. <laughs> Signing off another episode of Change Drivers Raw, my friend Josh, thanks again for coming over and giving us an early look. Early look at the new goods. <laughs> Thanks again. You can hey, whoa, whoa, thank you for watching this video. I record videos every week. It'd be a good idea to subscribe if you care about creativity, about entrepreneurship, about building shit. If any of that is interesting to you or the occasional badass new music that you've never heard before that I play on my tiny, tiny, tiny little guitar. I don't know if you can see it.